And thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. This are the stories you are following at the moment. Vice President Kashim Shatima says Nigeria's economy is on the path of recovery after shutting down in recent month. At the launch of the National Design and Innovation Competition at the Presidential Villa in Abuja, Shatima said better days are ahead for the country's economy. For the nation's currency rebounded against the dollar in recent week, the vice president is optimistic about more gains for the Naira in the coming days. The chief whip of the Senate, Mohamed Ali Ndume, has enjoined Nigerians to set aside divisive tendencies and unite the defeat enemies of our nation. He said this in a tribute to 17 officers and soldiers who died in active service in Delta State and were buried at the National Military Cemetery in Abuja. The Senate chief whip urged Nigerians to take a cue from President Bolat in Ibu's patriotic act of giving due recognition to the officers and soldiers who paid the supreme prize in line of duty in Okwama Community Delta State about two weeks ago. And Justice Abubakar Kutugi of the Federal Capital High Court in Jabi, Abuja, has dismissed the charges of fraud, bribery and conspiracy filed against the former Attorney General of the Federation, Mohamed Adoke, by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Ruling on the no-case submission made by Adoke, Justice Kutugi said the EFCC failed to prove his charges of fraud, bribery and money laundry and ruled that the defendant has no case to answer. A discharge and acquitted the former minister on all counts. And troops of the Nigerian Army deployed for counter-terrorism operation in the Northeast in conjunction with hybrid forces on Wednesday neutralized one terrorist and recovered armed ammunition and rusted castles during a clearance operation on identified Boko Haram slash Islamic State of West Africa province enclave within Gori General Area in Goza local government area in Borno State. In a fierce firefight, the troops successfully overpowered and neutralized one terrorist, rescued several rusted castles, and recovered arms and ammunition from the terrorist. And following a social media report by a passenger with reduced mobility, PRM, alleging discriminatory treatment at the, the Muritala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN, has shut down operations of the KFC outlet at the airport. Found in a statement by the Director of Public Affairs and Consumer Protection, Obia Gali Ora, said the management of KFC has been entrusted to tender an apology to the affected PRM, just as it requested that a policy statement of non-discrimination be written and passed at all facility door posts before it resumes operation. And on the global scene, four people, including a teenage girl, were killed and at least five injured after a man went on a stabbing spree at multiple addresses in the United States of Illinois, police have said. The stabbing took place on Wednesday afternoon, Rockford City Police said in a statement, adding that a 22-year-old suspect was taken into court study. And finally, on sport, Chelsea reached the semi-finals of the Women's Champions League on Wednesday despite a 1-1 draw at home to Ajax, while Lyon also progressed after brushing aside Benifa in France. Mira Ramirez put Chelsea in the first half lead on her European club debut, but Chelsea Grant equalized for Ajax in the second half. Chelsea prevailed 4-1 on aggregate following a 3-0 win in the first leg in Amsterdam. And that's all we have at the newsroom. Join us at the top of the half for more stories. Bye for now.